Auzubillahiminashaytanirajim, bismillahirrahmanirrahim. Dear brothers and sisters, assalamu alaikum. My name is Shuaib Khan. Today we have got a very, very special tutorial for you. It's called Journey Through Time. So check it out. So this whole tutorial is special because it's done in Photoshop and After Effects. A tiny, tiny bit is done in 3D Studio Max, which if you like, you can also done it in, do it in Photoshop. You can also reverse it, the whole zoom out. So, so this is what we will be doing today. So let's start our tutorial first with 3D Studio Max. So here we are in photo, um, so here we are in 3D Studio Max. But before uh, modeling the basic parts of your machine, you need to know what you're modeling. So I have this reference picture that I used. Oh, by the way, this is uh, my my wooden carving sculpture that I sculpted a long time back. Um, I've studied sculpture as well. So let's take this out of the way. Um, this this is also different angles of my cute little sculpture that I have carved. Okay, so this is um, the basic um, picture of a watch inside a watch that I have downloaded. And so for the reference that okay, this is what we will be modeling. You know, some small bits and pieces. Not of course all of the all of the watch, but these small um, machine you know basic pieces, and then we can just put them you know in in After Effects as we like and then of course animate them so let's go back to 3ds max let's start our first part of let's start with the first part of the machine so this is a very very basic modeling there's nothing you know difficult about it so you can also model or design this in Photoshop or download a picture and then you know convert it or into into lines or something and then you can just do it in Photoshop as well but in this one it's quite handy and it's quite fast as well so that's why I have used 3d studio max to design this so if you go to shapes click the star button here and we go to top viewport and maximize it by clicking here okay click star again and let's make our first basic part you go to the modifier and this we go we come down to parameters and here we will change few settings so if you want more points so not just too sure. just increase the points and then you, you can increase and reduce okay we come down to parameters and here is points radius 1 and radius 2 points basically we can increase the the points of the star and radius is basically one is which is inside and the one is uh, outside so and then we can have also fillet radius so we can get rid of the sharp uh, you know edges so, so this one this model is basically I assume that we are making we are, we are making this one and this one these ones so all you need to do is just adjust a little bit more and now we go to modifier list and apply extrude to it that's it our model is done our first model is done so we go to top viewport and we render 
a file, big file. We go to render scene and I go to custom and change it to 1200 by 1200. And don't do anything here, just leave it as it is, default and single, and just say render. So we've got our first part here. Now all you need to do is to just save it as Targa or PNG. I'll go for for Targa because it gives better resolution. So we say um, star one, and then we save our image in a directory that you want to save into so that we can retrieve it later. So you say thirty two and pre multiplied alpha. Let's click OK. So this our first model is done. Now let's make another model. Okay, this is our second model that we need to make, which is also very easy to model. So we close this one. So we come here, and uh, what we need to do is leave it as it is. We just delete extrude button here. We add, we go to shapes again, and we go to, let's say circle. And then we, let me maximize it. Then we click a circle here. Yeah. And we go to modify and we interpolation. We just turn it up to, let's say, 12 so that we get rid of the jagged ends. Okay. Now, Okay, let's duplicate this circle. Um, if you go to Scale Tool, and, um, let's duplicate the circle. Hold Shift in your keyboard and then click the circle. It'll ask for clone options. You say copy, say OK. And then we just go to the pr uh, parameters again. We turn down the circle, make a smaller circle here. Another one, small circle. Okay, we do the same. We click, hold, shift, click, we make another one. And we reduce the size. Now, convert this one, right click, and say convert to edit, editable spline. And now you go to modify again. And we say attach. And then we attach the rest the circles to the holes and so it becomes one solid you know editable spline with vertex and all these segments and splines so, so now what you need to do is next step is to create these lines so you go back and we go to vertex mode in vertex, select these vertex, hold control on your keyboard and select these. This is a very, very easy step. So not to worry. So now we've selected all these and now we just scroll it down in the parameters and we say chamfer. So let's chamfer up to seven. So we've got basic our basic um, points. So now we go back to segment and just delete it. Delete, delete on your keyboard. Select delete, select delete. These are the segments that we just created. Delete, delete, and delete. So we've got our basic shape. Now we go back to our line tool and uh, okay, let's make another line. Let's click here and make a straight line. Okay, we've got our basic line now. Let's scroll the middle box button and we go close to it and then we select. Vertex mode again, 
Now basically we need to select the whole machinery again and then you say attach. So we attach this new line that we've just created. Now we need to attach this line to the whole thing here, machine here. So we select the end of the line in the vertex mode and we bring it close, it will automatically join the two points. So we've got a basic line here. We go to spline, we select this one. Sorry, go to segment, we select this one. Hold shift, move it up and leave it here it will automatically select it will automatically join the line so now select these two vertices select these two spines again segments again control hold control hold control and then select this other one and now hold shift in your keyboard and drag it across So this is how you complete the whole circle. Now again hold shift and drag it across. And this time you turn them, rotate them. So snap key is on. So we snap it. There we go. There we go. Okay. You see these are now join together again hold shift and make another copy and there we go so we made our complex machine all we do is again hold extrude and here we go so we go back to render again make it a little bit bigger okay so let me click a little bit also if you want, you can freeze, increase the interpolation to get more, you know. You can see, if I take it closer, you will see the lines are jagged here, jagged ends. So what we can do is just increase the steps in the interpolation. Go to 12, that's more than enough. And then, you can just render it. Go up to render settings again, same thing, everything here, and we render it. We've got our tool here. So we save it again. Click star, this time it's star two. And then we go Targa again and save 32 bit pre multiplied. Okay. So with that, it gives us a channel. Close this one. So now let's make another, another part of the machine. Which one is that? It's a similar one but with less edges. So this is now our next victim. Okay. For this one, we can just use um, the same tool here to make the other one. So what we do is just delete the extrude by going here. So now we go to spline, we select this, and actually good, good way is just to make a copy of it so that you don't lose that. And then now you save the copy, if you need it again you can always you know, hide the copy, hide selected, and this is the copy now we're working on. We go to segments, we go to spline and we select all this and we just click delete. So we've got basically the middle part here. All we need to do is to go to shapes again, star click in the middle. So we've got our star here. Now <clears throat> let's adjust the size like before. And this time we don't need many points so increase the 
fillet radius. Let's see how many from one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen. So um, let's say fifteen, sixteen is fine for us. Okay, let's centralize it. We click the middle one, and go to centralize tool here, and then click the other one. So it automatically centralizes. all the positions okay same method again we click this one since it's at a close line so we go attach and attach this to the whole lot here and we go to vertex now what we need to do is just select the Okay, we select our um, our star, and then we right click. We convert it to equable mesh. It goes flying, sorry. And then we click vertex, and we select all the vertices. Yeah, and then we right click, and then we say we need to select. Then we right click and say corner. So this is how we get the corners here. And before it was smooth so now what you can do is attach it to the middle part and in the same way we just extrude it and zoom in a little bit and render the same way we can render it directly from here as well this time so we got our render and then we save say our star 3 Arga. Okay. okay, let's make this one, which is a very simple one. We go back to uh, 3ds Max, right click and right select, and then we go to again star. We click it, make the star. And this time we make less points. Let's say six points, not six. Probably uh, twelve points. Uh, let's go less. And then we make another circle in the middle, as previously we did. Actually, we don't need to, we just, we can do this in Photoshop as well. Okay, we right click, convert to spline. Okay, we've got our basic shape. We go to make our file part of the machine, which is, we go to star again. And we this time we have eight points is more than enough. So let's just fillet it a little bit. And fillet this as well. Now we right click, convert to edit this spline. We just click vertex, and the same way. Right click. Sometimes it doesn't come up, so we just click right click again and say corner. So here we are, our basic machine part. So now we go and extrude it again. And this time we render it as usual. So 
and save it and rename it star four. So this is what we've got basic our basic uh, machine parts and now most of the work I mean the work in in 3ds Max is done so let's go to Photoshop and tweak these models and then eventually then we'll bring them into After Effects to animate them so let's go to Photoshop okay here we are in Photoshop let's make a new file first let's do 1200 or just say 1,000, 500,000 pixels. Okay, here we are in Photoshop. Let's make a new file. File, new. Let's say 1,000 by probably, yep, 600. Because we need. Um, bigger parts, you know, so that they, we, when we import them from to After Effects and zoom into them, they don't pixelate. So let's get our files that we have rendered in Photoshop. <coughs> so let's get our files. Let's start with this crop first. Okay, we go to image, we go to, we go to layer. Okay, we go to select, load selection. We say, okay, so we've got our alpha channel here. We bring it into, scale it down a little bit. And we go to double click the layer, come to layer styles, and let's see what we can apply here. First thing first, we go to bevel. Okay, as you can see, bevel is already applied. We go to contour. Leave it as it is. In bevel, we go to chisel hard, and we turn down the size a little bit and depth, probably more. Turn softness to zero. Then we apply. Go to yeah, click. We'll go, <coughs> excuse me, color over, overlay. And since this is a theme of our animation, so we'll keep it gold color. And then gradient overlay. And we change the colors to. Turn off the color overlay, and then we also have drop shadow. Turn it up, and then size distance to zero. So, okay. So this is basically our first model here. Bevel and just fix it. And depth, more depth. Go 
Then we'll we turn it down. Contour. 